Hey Northridge Nation, today we'll be installing an ARB freezer fridge in the Giveaway Gladiator. Stay tuned. And welcome back to another video in the Giveaway Gladiator build series where we're building this awesome 2020 Hydro Glue Gladiator and we're gonna give it away. So yes, today we are gonna expand its off the grid capabilities with the addition of an ARB Elements freezer fridge. And well, this is its element in the back of a truck or in an open vehicle where it may be exposed to weather. ARB designed the Elements fridge to work in a very harsh environment and it's perfect for the back of the Giveaway Gladiator. For accessibility, we're gonna be mounting it to an ARB fridge slide, which will allow the fridge to slide out and make accessing your contents much easier. Now, our first thing to decide is where we're gonna mount the fridge. On the Gladiators, if you have the option with the power module in the back, it's right here at the back of the bed on the right-hand side. So that's where we're gonna install it. Now this is a stripped down Gladiator, so we don't have any power there, but we will be installing it right into the block off plate, so pretty much in the same place the factory unit is. Now our next step is going to be to mount that fridge slide. Let's get at it. Now in mounting our slide, we wanna make sure it is mounted to a firm base. We're gonna mount it right up to the top of the ribs in the bed. We'll get it as close to the side and forward. Now ARB does have mounting holes. We can line this one up with this outer rib. On the inside here, it's out where a valley is. So we're just gonna re-drill the ARB fridge slide and move our bolts in to line up with this third rib in. So we're just gonna use a transfer punch, go right down through the hole. Start out with a small drill bit and drill your pilot hole. And we can just drop a bolt down in there just to locate that front and we'll move to the back corner. With your four holes drilled, we just need to drop some bolts down in and nut it from the bottom side. ARB doesn't include the mounting hardware with the slide because, well, there's too many mounting options. But they do recommend that you use an M8 high tensile strength minimum size. We're gonna go with a 5 16 grade eight, which is similar. The problem is if we just drop the bolt down in and run a nut up from underneath, uh, then it's pretty, pretty permanently attached in here. I mean, you can still remove it, the slide out from the bed of your Gladiator, but you'll have to get somebody to get underneath and hold the nut while you pull the bolt out from the top. So we have a solution for you. We're gonna take a steel riv nut, and this is exactly what it sounds. It is a cross between a rivet and a nut, and you would slide it down in the hole, compress it just like any rivet, but then you end up with a threaded hole that we can just run bolts right down through and make mounting it really easy. And if you need to remove your slide because, well, you wanna use your bed like a pickup truck bed, it's just four bolts, the slide lifts right out and you're good to go. All right, to install our rib nut, we need to drill out to a larger size hole. We wanna make sure we use a drill bit that is the proper size. It just bit, This barely fits down in. A deburring tool is really handy to have to make sure that your holes are nice and flush. All the little edges are taken out. We want to use a little touch-up paint just to cover up that bare sheet metal. Now we're going to take our rib nut. And if you're familiar with them, you're probably familiar with this tool. And it's just a bolt, a couple washers, and a nut. We're just going to screw our rib nut down on. Take your rib nut and tool. 
tap it down in. And now that's the perfect fit for a rib nut. You want to make sure that there's a little bit of a bite. If the hole's too large and it flops around, it won't get a good uh, crimp. Now we do need to get underneath and slide this washer up over the bottom of the rib nut. And then that way, as it crimps into place, it's just going to give us this much more meat around the sheet metal here. One rib nut installed and it makes the perfect mounting point for our fridge slide. Now if you like cool tools, they actually make a pneumatic driver for rib nuts. And yeah, not everybody needs one in their toolbox, but they sure make it easy. She crunched? Yep. That makes it easy. Now one thing we did notice on the Gladiator is that the ribs of the bed sit lower than this back rib of the tailgate. So we have to make sure we lift up the slide just a little bit so that the slide shelf clears the bed. If not, you get these little scratches right here, which, well, we learned the hard way. So tighten up your fasteners and that A or B fridge slide is ready for a fridge. But before we put a fridge in this particular Gladiator, we need to get power back here. If you already have the power outlet, which is back here on this rear right hand corner, you're good to go. You can just plug the fridge in, install the fridge and you're ready. This being a very base model does not come with that. So we need to run wiring back here and we are going to use the ARB wiring loom. These are specifically designed for the fridges. Comes with 20 feet of wire. Also comes with a surface mount socket. And so we can mount this right up here on the factory block off panel and run the wires up front. So now we need to remove this little block off plate and it's just held in by little clips on all four sides right in the center. So grab your plastic trim tools and just work it down in until you can depress those little tabs and in from the other side. Once you have three sides out, it pops right out. Now the ARB loom wiring comes with terminals for the battery end and it does have a 15 amp fuse in it. So we're going to start up at the battery end and work our way back because we'll end up probably trimming a little bit off of this end. You don't want to hook these to the battery yet until we have the socket done on the other end. So before we wire in our ARB surface mount socket, we want to line it up on the knockout plate, try to get it as even as you possibly can. And we're we'll drill a hole here. And run a screw down. And then the other side. Now, if we look underneath, you can see the screws just barely clear this raised lip. So we want to make sure that we center it up so they come right to the inside because this raised lip is what sets inside the hole on the bed. Now we can take that out. And we also put a hole in for the wires to come through. So we can grab our wire and peel back some of the coating. 
For the terminals, ARB includes a 90 degree terminal that they want you to crimp and solder. We find it easiest just to grab a set of high quality straight terminals and crimp them in place. Then we don't have to mess with the solder. Now grab your surface mount socket. You can pull the nut off the back side and then the socket itself will slide out. I'm gonna throw the nut onto the wiring loom and then the surface mount housing. Now on the back of the socket, you'll see a little tiny plus, that's for the red wire, and a little tiny minus, that's for the black wire. Plug your harness into the proper terminals, and then we can throw that flush mount housing back up there. The nut. I'm just going to throw a couple loops of black tape around the harness just to kind of help uh, stop it from going being pulled through the faceplate. We can put a little bend in it. And we're ready to put our screws back in place. Now with the element slide, we have these little locator plates and they bolt right onto the top of the slide and this allows the feet of the element's fridge a place to kind of lock into. With your ARB fridge, you get two cords. You get your 110 and you also have your 1224 volt for the vehicle power. Now, if we look at the end of the 12 volt cord, this end here is obviously designed to slide into a cigarette lighter socket or an auxiliary power socket, but it's not gonna fit the ARB surface mount socket. What you wanna do is unscrew it, unplug it, now this will plug into the ARB surface mount socket. So now to hold the fridge in place, you can mount it through the feet. You can run a bolt up underneath the fridge slide into the feet of the fridge and lock it in place. But you can also get an ARB Elements tie down kit. And this is gonna tie right in where these two bolts are and go down and strap to the slide. It holds it securely, but it also makes it easy to remove the fridge if you need to. ARB includes these little buttons and a longer screw. And you know how much we like Loctite, but you don't want to put a red or a blue on there. The purple Loctite is really nice. This is a low strength Loctite. Just adds just a little bit. Adds just a little bit of holding power. And it's perfect for an application like this where you may want to remove that down the road. So to run your tie down strap, go through the lower slot, back through the middle slot, and we're going to tighten it right down to where we're almost to the buckle. Now we're going to go through the upper slot, flip it around, and we're going to go through 
the lower slot. Hook the tab onto the button and we can take our strap, go through the lower loop, and then come up the back side of the buckle and snug it down. Now to get rid of this tail, just go ahead and slice it and take a little heat. Now for our cord, just slide it right inside this buckle. And you can even slide it behind here. Plug it in. And then tighten this down. Now with the power hooked up to the battery, we should have power here at the fridge. So let's slide it out to unlock your slide, push down on this latch here, and it can be moved to the other side if for some reason you need your latch on the other side. Grab a hold of the slide and pull it out. Locks into place. Now we have our dual latches here on the front of the ARB element fridge. And then we lift our lid up and the strut holds the lid open. This is one of my favorite things about the ARB Elements fridge is it holds the lid open so you can dig into the fridge with both hands. Now for our power up, we're just gonna grab the power button and hold it down, and there we go. Right now it's at 65 degrees, well, because we haven't been running it. We can hit this diamond, that tells us it's set to 45 and we know the perfect drink temperature for those after trail beverages is 37 degrees. And it flashes, now set at 37. So we can put a timer on that, see how long it takes to go from 65 degrees down to 37 degrees. Close it back up, latch it. Now to slide this back in, we're gonna depress our latch on the slide and then push it right back in and it locks into place. So now that we've shown you how easy it is to install the ARB Elements fridge and fridge slide into the Giveaway Gladiator, you can see that this is a whole package. It's perfect for those looking for a little more off-the-grid independence. And when I say off-the-grid independence, this is very energy efficient. So if you're one of those that has a portable solar panel, it'll easily keep up with the ARB Elements fridge, even on the worst of days. So, are you ready for an Elements fridge for your off-road vehicle? Well, hit that description box down below to where you can, get a, you can find a link to where you can get one for your vehicle. Down there, you're also gonna see that like button, that subscribe button, hit those, and then leave us a comment. What do you think of the Elements fridge? Great addition to the Giveaway Gladiator, yes? Now, it's time for us to finally take this Gladiator off-road and see what it can do. So, we'll see you soon.